participate either here or at a main session or nationally or regionally and if it is done in a way that it is inclusive, open and participatory way, uh, the result tends to converge. That's what uh, we see, for instance, in our own experience in Brazil. And as Rachel has just mentioned, the 10 principles that were developed within our own uh, multi-stakeholder uh, internet steering committee. And it is a contribution that we brought to this IGF. Perhaps we could think of, from here on, as the next steps, try to do something. Not to create uh, anything that is legally binding, but to do something that would be a reference for any further uh, development related to internet governance. I believe this is particularly important because we have seen some uh, initiatives uh, regarding uh, turning aspects into law when uh, there are some problems detected. And it is only natural that it happens because according to our history, our culture at the international level, whenever we have a problem we tend to call a conference and then negotiate a treaty. It is like that that we managed to have the Montreal Protocol to tackle the ozone layer and then after a few years we uh, now we know that the ozone layer is, uh, is getting back to normal uh, after an effort to curb the emissions of those gases that were damaging the ozone layer. Uh, it is also the case, just to mention another example, uh, that in uh, the 50s and the 60s when it was detected that were, there was a risk of nuclear proliferation, proliferation countries got together and negotiated a treaty, the non-proliferation treaty, that is one of the most universal treaties that you have, we have today and that uh, somehow worked to uh, block the spread of nuclear weapons and this threat to the human race. So when problems like security, uh, fraud, uh, uh, child abuse come up using the internet, it is only natural that people will try to reason the same way and try to get that through a legal instrument at international level. However, you, we know, we all know that for that to work at the internet, maybe, well, it will uh, require uh, global acceptance, which means acceptance by all the governments and then uh, ratification by all parliaments for it to be truly universal and effective. There might be other ways and uh, perhaps uh, before opening these Pandora boxes of negotiating treaties, what we need to agree is precisely on these core values and principles based on which any further step to tackle specific slots of problems that we detect will have to be based. So once we have that, um, that stage, we will be able to perhaps uh, engage in a negotiation because we, we, we don't see really an alternative to uh, uh, lawmaking in case uh, we really want to curb some uh, bad uh, behaviors in the internet. It's actually that the, the old question of how are social relations uh, to be ruled by technical standards or by the law? Our society is, ru is ruled by the law or should be ruled by the law and not by the code 